Hi, Year 9, it's Miss Noble here. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Level 1 Stroke 2 Vocational Award in Hospitality and Catering that we'll be offering as one of the options from September. The course is split into two units. The first unit you'll be focusing in great depth on the hospitality and catering industry. This will be an exam at the end of Year 10, which accounts for 40% of your final qualification. Should you need to reset the exam, there's an opportunity to do this in Year 11 in the summer. The second unit is mainly coursework based and you'll be looking at hospitality and catering in action and you will be expected to answer a set brief and do a piece of written work and some practical exam work as well. This unit will count for 60% of your final qualification. As you can see from the list below, we cover a broad range of topics uh, in Unit 1. You could be studying job requirements in the hospitality and catering industry. You could look at the operations of the kitchen and operations of the front of house. You're looking at food poisoning and food legislation. You're looking at the nutrition and planning meals. And you're also going to be um, doing quite a lot of um, practical work as well to support the written work. To help support you with the knowledge you learnt from Unit 1, we have knowledge organisers for each of the different sections that we've done to help you organise your notes and to help you for revision purposes towards the uh, exam in Year 10. The exam itself has a variety of different types of questions, starting off with very simplistic questions where you may be asked to tick a box for one mark. Then getting slightly harder by asking you to add a little bit more detail as the marks go up. Moving on to the more harder questions where you're expected to write more of an essay based uh, response. In Year 11 you will do your coursework. This will be in the form of a brief that comes from the exam board and it helps to set the scene. You will then carry out some relevant research and collect as much information as you possibly can using the set criteria from the exam board as a, a kind of guide. Once you've got all your information, you're allowed to take your notes into the controlled assessment time and you will have nine hours to write up the whole of your coursework. There's also uh, planning for the production of two dishes which you will cook and present under exam conditions. Examples underneath are from students uh, previously. The award levels for this course are starting off with a level one pass, which is equivalent to GCSE one to three. Uh, we have a level two pass, which is equivalent to a GCSE four to five. You have a merit, which is equivalent to six or a seven at GCSE. A distinction, which is an eight, and a distinction star, which is equivalent to a nine at GCSE. Once you've completed this course and have an interest in taking it further, you can either attend the Duchy College or Plymouth City College, as both offer a huge range of different courses related to the hospitality and catering industry, uh, food science and nutrition, uh, food safety, tourism management, professional cooking, and lots, lots more. So if you're interested, have a look at their websites to see what sort of qualifications and courses that uh, will appeal to you. There are lots of exciting job opportunities in the food industry. You could find yourself on cruise ships travelling around the world. You could work on TV food programmes. You could be a food blogger, um, a photographer for food magazines. You could be a personal chef for the rich and famous, or you could even work for yourself. Now, those, those are just a few examples of the jobs you could do. Uh, to give you an idea of wages, if you're interested in becoming a head chef, they earn anything from 25,000 upwards. Uh, hotel managers earn from uh, 31,000 plus, so not a bad wage. Um, if you're not interested in a career in this subject, but want to learn at, at all about food, develop high cooking uh, skills and presentation techniques, uh, you want to have a good understanding of nutrition and healthy eating, you want to learn about the hospitality industry, this may be a course for you. 
If you've got any questions, then you can find me in room 55, I'm Miss Noble, or you could email me instead. Um, I just need to say thank you very much for listening and bye.